low. This is the Philips V60. Um, quick overview. This is going to go over just how to mount the unit onto the cart if that is your preference. As you can see, we have our unit here, Philips V60, facing us. If you turn it and you look underneath, you'll see four feet. This is how the unit will arrive with four feet. In order to mount the unit onto the cart, which is located here, we go back to the V60, we'll have to remove the four feet. Um, they're relatively easy. You will need a three millimeter Allen key um, to remove the four feet. Pretty, pretty standard. So what we're gonna show you right now is how to remove the four feet and then mount it onto the cart. These bottom two feet, the screws that go into these bottom two feet, you will use. So you have to remove, squeeze them out, put this guy aside, one screw. Two screws. Now you will also receive, these are the four we removed. You will receive two washers right here and a larger screw, Phillips screw, which is gonna go on your cart. Now we're gonna put these two, one washer per screw. And we're gonna get those ready. We're gonna set aside the four feet and we're gonna have our larger screw. So we have three screws that are going we are going to use to mount the V60 onto the cart. Now, if you turn the V60 and you have the left, the screen on your left, you pick it up. Now, just so you know on the cart, orientation is going to be this way. You'll see a notch here. The notch will stay as you're facing the cart on your left hand side. And then you'll also notice a screw hole here. It will be facing you. So we're going to grab the unit. Screen will be facing the notch. And the hole will be facing you like so. And basically now it's all a matter of lining up the holes. All right, so we have um, the bottom section of the V60. So this is uh, the unit facing you. As you can see, this is the larger uh, front hole. This is the screw that you wanna put in first. Um, it's a Phillips, and what you'll wanna do is the little rubber gasket will come in a way so that you'll be able to fit it this way and then up as you screw in. And you just have to line it up a little bit, play around wow, with lining up this hole with the bottom hole of the unit, but it will fit and you would just naturally just tighten the screw all the way in. Now once you get to a point where you can go, I wouldn't go all the way in until you check on the back two screws. So if you turn this, the cart over, you have a smaller screw here, and this is the three millimeter screw with the washer from before. And this is the other three millimeter screw with the washer from before. Um, now, once you put them in, they should go right in and they should screw in. You should start to see the unit kind of become flush with the bottom plate. Um, it might take you a couple tries to get it completely even, um, but they will fit properly and there is this guy and then at the end they should all be flush and screwed in all the way there's this guy so the back two screws 
much if you don't want to go super tight but you want to be snug and you want to turn this guy back around and finish with the front will be a little tight at first because of the rubber gasket here but you should be able to secure the machine the unit right in there so as you can see this guy's not coming off and this is what it will look like at the end there's two sections on each side front screen facing this way the notch that we mentioned earlier right here and that's it you won't have to worry about this can ignore that and that's it that's the installation onto the cart